I love the Black Panther movie because it gave black children a hero they can look up to. And not just someone like Martin Luther King Jr. or Malcolm X or Harriet Tubman or Rosa Parks or Maya Angelou or Thurgood Marshall, George Washington Carver, Desmond Tutu, Nelson Mandela, Kofi Annan, Denzel Washington, Sidney Poitier, Billy Holiday, John Coltrane, Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier. Obama, Oprah, Tupac, Biggie. Uh, now, you guys have a fake person that dressed like a cat. Give it up for Hannah, everybody. She named all the black people. That was impressive. Thank you guys. Good to be here. You can probably tell I'm from New York by how fast I got up here. <laughs> I'm a pretty fast walker. I'm walking over here. <laughs> so yes, I live in a van. Thanks for outing me. <laughs> These home rollers really don't know how to act around their van roller. They're very delicate creatures. I am offended, sir. Hashtag van lifers. I like how Americans will say communism never works, as if we didn't spend billions of dollars and kill billions of people to make sure it wouldn't work. <laughs> I remember the war in Vietnam? No. We're pretty anxious about it now, working. not <laughs> Communism never works, because whenever people control the means of production, their democratically elected leaders mysteriously die. <laughs> the small rebel group always finds automatic weapons. <laughs> and uh, look, they're hitting themselves. <laughs> Why are you destabilizing yourself? Why are you destabilizing yourself? Why are you destabilizing yourself? Look at that. All four lights on and working. Good luck trying to pull me over in the south now, boys. I'm untouchable. I mean, that's what do. Excuse me, I've been on Gotham Comedy Club before. <laughs> I've been on Laughs on Fox. I have my own podcast. And let's just say these jokes are vetted. <laughs> let's just say that. Let's just put that out there. Hey, let's just say that right. I got on a couple festivals. Yes. Okay, so let me relax. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm keeping it real up here. Alright, that's my time. Thank you very much. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Holy oh, shit. Oh. Give it up one more time for Hans Jam. There's a guy leaf blowing right now at 9.30 a.m. In the middle of fucking February, there are no leaves. Is leaf blowing three leaves around? Just get a fucking, just pick it up with your hand, dude. Some of us are sleeping in our cars. Come on, man, some consideration. You see that? There's literally like five leaves he's blowing. He's got a whole fucking backpack just to move five leaves. That's all the leaves in the park. Just gathered all them up. I am at the nation's capital, Washington Monument. What's up, guys? I'm here at the Washington Monument, um, in the least popular window of the Washington Monument. Hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> All right, have fun being fake woke. All right, thank you. <laughs> That joke went well. Uh, the bending over where they really get you. They keep asking me which city I like the best. You can write bad jokes anywhere. The next comic is visiting us from New York City. Please give it up for Hans Kim. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Hans Kim, and I work at a sushi restaurant. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out a way to learn Spanish so that way I can communicate with my people. Um, but it's always funny because people are like, they don't just You could fuck a nerd or a soy boy. That soy boy? <laughs> <laughs> Never heard of that. <laughs> Never! But well, you know it is soy boy. I love it. I love it. Soy boy. Let you down. I'm a soy boy. All right, soy thank you. Boy. Soy boy. Soy <laughs> boy. I'm in the great American city of Baltimore. This is a whole other American city that I'm in. It looks like the Joe Pesci of cities. Tough. 
it's like we've been through a lot and we're a little small but we got a lot of fight in us that's cool that Baltimore is terrible and sad you could be flat or you fuck the old city this is your next comic coming to stage he is on tour across the country he is visiting us from uh, New York City and all sorts of places in between please welcome to the stage they're very funny Hans Kim everybody! Thank you guys, it's good to be here. My name is Hans Kim and I'm a stand-up comedian. Yeah. Thank you. I feel validated, I feel seen. Uh, stand-up comedy is where you use happiness to tell people why you're sad. Uh, because I do stand-up comedy. You know? I wish I was a painter, because I've never been painting a picture and had the canvas be like, Boo! That doesn't look like a tree! You suck! Draw something Asian! Never happens when I'm painting. Um, you know, I'm having a hard time getting booked. I have 3,000 friends on Facebook, but no one will book me. I'm pretty popular. Which is uh, great, because as we all know, the best comedy comes from nice people who everyone really likes. Uh, you know. uh, no one books me, and I think I know why. It's because everyone who books shows only books their friends, and then my friends book based on merit. <laughs> Fuck. How do I get some of these shitty friends, huh? I don't want to make it because I work hard. Anyone can do that. I want to make it because I'm a good primordial personality. Hey guys, I didn't do any work on myself. Reward me. It's so hard being I'm such an artist. Uh, back to the Jews. They're my favorite. Just all Jews. Fuck it. <laughs> okay. The system is broken, man. Um, it's good to be here. Uh, okay. yeah. Yeah. I don't know anything about it, but I saw him for the first time tonight. And be amused to me. Please welcome Hans. Yeah! <laughs> I just left him in the dust, guys. But I'm done. Well, thank you. Asian women, you guys act like you're such hot shit, but back home, we're throwing you away. <laughs> <laughs> so fuck you, you Asian bitches. Stay humble out there, you look like us. I could throw on a wig and be a seven, okay? I can look like I'm a Sandra Oak type. <laughs> I can fuck white dudes too, it's not that hard. <laughs> hey, I'm here with Kay Bell. What makes DC the hottest place to be a young comedian nowadays? I don't know if it's the hottest place, but it's pretty decent, man. You got mics every night. You can hit multiple mics a night with a lot of people in there. So what is your whole shoe situation like right now? Shoe situation? Yeah. What do you mean? Is it like you hard to take off or is it... Cause I can lay down some cardboard. Oh, thank you. We don't need it. You don't need to be taking pictures at the zoo. Just Google gorilla or K gorilla when you get home. I perform for these people some hilarious artistic jokes about how smart I am. I have no idea what's coming. I saw a dude reading a book in Arabic at an airport, which kind of freaked me out. But then I saw him fold the corner of the page and put the book away. And I was like, oh, thank God, he's got future plans. <laughs> <laughs> that was a close one. You know. The narrative structure, there's a beginning, middle, and an end to that. So, you know, he's going to want to finish that book up. <laughs> 